Hello, I'm Evgeny Yeliseev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianOfTheRussian.com. We continue our conversation about Russian verbs, and today we will examine verbs ending in it. Well, let's go. All Russian verbs ending in it may be divided in three groups. Verbs derived from the verb быть to be, verbs мыть, крыть, выть, ныть, рыть, which change the vowel in the root, and such unclassified verbs as плыть, слыть, and стыть, which have their own peculiarities in the present or future simple tense. Let's start from the first group, verbs derived from быть. To be. As we saw in our previous grammar lessons, in modern Russian the verb быть has only one form in the present tense – есть, and this one is often omitted. But in the future tense, the verb быть preserves all its forms using the stem буд. Я буду, ты будешь. Он, она, оно будет, мы будем, вы будете, они будут. When we add a prefix to the verb быть, we obtain a perfective verb with a different meaning. For example, забыть – to forget, прибыть – to arrive, добыть – to obtain, to extract, выбыть – to drop out. Zbitsa to come true. All these verbs are conjugated in the same way that the verb bit in the future tense. For example, Ya Zabudu, I will forget. Ti Zabudish, you will forget. On Ana Ano Zabudit, Mi Zabudim, Vi Zabudite, Ani Zabudut. I will remind that all these prefixed verbs are perfective and their forms specify the future tense and not the present one. If you need to say I forget or the train is arriving, you should use imperfective verbs. How to obtain them, you will know at the end of this lesson. And now let's examine the second group of Russian verbs ending in it. It includes such imperfective verbs as мыть – to wash, крыть – to cover, выть – to howl, ныть – to whine, to whimper, рыть – to dig, and all verbs derived from these ones. For example, открыть – to open, закрыть – to close, смыть – to wash off, мыться – to wash, to wash oneself, умыться – to wash one's hands and face, and some other ones. To put these verbs in the present or future simple tense, you should do the following. Remove the ending t, replace u with o, and add the unstressed endings of the first conjugation. For example, mit to wash. We remove the t, Replace the U with O, MO, and add the unstressed endings of the first conjugation. Я мою – I wash. Ты моешь – You wash. Он, она, оно – Моет. Мы моем – Вы моете – Они моют. And the last one. The verbs plead – To swim – to sail to somewhere, slit to pass for, and stit to be getting cold. The first two ones are conjugated like the verb жить. For example, plit to swim to sail to somewhere. Я плыву I am swimming. Ты плывешь You are swimming. Он она оно плывет. Мы плывем. Вы плывете, они плывут. The verb стыть, to be getting cold, is conjugated in the same way that the verb стать. Я стыну, 
ты стынешь, он, она, оно стынет, мы стынем, вы стынете, они стынут. All derived verbs have the same features. And now, as I promised, let's say a few words about formation of the imperfective pairs for the verbs examined today. To obtain these imperfective pairs, we should just insert the stressed suffix в. Забыть, забывать. Открыть, открывать. Переплыть, переплывать. Остыть, остывать. These imperfective verbs are conjugated like the verb знать. For example, я забываю, I forget, I'm forgetting. Ты забываешь, you forget, you are forgetting, and so on. Well, now you know everything about Russian verbs ending in it, both in the present and future tense. I hope this information is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and visit my website to get more information about the Russian language and private Russian Skype lessons. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, see you at the next videos.